pushed back, he winds, he throws, Brayt caught it at the 25, fumbled the ball, it is picked up by the Browns, Kirksey's got it. Big hit there to get that out of there as it was T.J. Carey who knocked it out, Doug. The biggest thing was football was very big in our family. And watching my three older brothers, um, my oldest brother went to De La Salle High School, which is in Concord, California. And I would always ask my brother before the game, Eric, can I be the ball boy? And he'd be like, man, go ask coach. And so it was always fun being the ball boy, being the water boy, and, and just running on the field and, and having that excitement of going to the game to watch your older brother play, seeing the energy that was felt there, to me, it was only right to follow suit. And from that standpoint, there was nothing that could get in my way of achieving that. Ball deflected and intercepted. Picked off by Carey. Travis Carey. Very, very athletic play. Fast forward to senior year. Now we're trying to look for schools to, to go to. And uh, I took a leap of faith and I went to Ohio University and turned out very, very well. Dominate 03. One, two, three. Dominate. And then my parents moved to Cleveland to say, you know, they're going to watch me for my last year of football. And we're sitting in draft night, and I'm thinking, like, it would be crazy if I went back to Oakland. And about 30, 40 minutes later, we got the call from Dennis Allen saying, do you want to be a Raider? And we blew up. You know, we had so much fun that night. It was just so real. It was just something that you really couldn't imagine happening, right? How many times do you see NFL players get to play for their hometown? I mean, it's very few. And it's funny because about halfway through my last season in Oakland, me and my wife are talking about free agency and we're talking to my agent and we're just bouncing off questions. And I'm like, babe, it'd be crazy if we went back to Cleveland. And we jumped at it. And it's been a blessing ever since. first met Coach Williams, it was a little off. And I was just thinking like, is he like this every day? Come on! And I didn't know I was shocked, right? And so I'm, I'm calling former players that's played here and played under Greg, and, and they're like, yeah, man, he's like that every day. Get ready. <laughs> that is good! It's fun to be around because you're always excited to see what's going on throughout the day. And it's like, man, what is he taking? Because I need some of that. Come on! Bam, 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 bam! And then the scheme. Um, Coach Williams' scheme is, is very untraditional, I can say. It, it challenges your thought process of how you play football for so long, right? And you, you think it's like, nah, this is not gonna work. But you're not in the mind frame that Greg is in. And, and I can say that he knows offenses so well that his scheme may seem off, it may seem unorthodox, but it works. That gives you the opportunity to go out there and play free. And so I had a lot of fun and uh, the transition so far has been great.